Today we will be going over three ways to tie your faja for optimal support. We will be utilizing one big faja and one small faja. First, let's review ways to not tie your faja. It is very important for you to not tie your faja on this way because you can hurt yourself while you are wearing the faja and participating in vigorous activity. You can hurt your ribs and you can also hurt your organs in your stomach. You can get cramps and if you are pregnant, you can hurt your baby. So you definitely do not want to have knots on either of your left side or on your right side. The very first thing you want to locate on your body is going to be your womb and your hips. So you're going to locate your belly button and your hips and this is the area you are going to wrap the faja on your body. This first method is called the wrap around method. The short end of your faja is going to be placed in front of your belly button and you are going to simply wrap the faja around your body. While you're doing this, you want to make sure the faja is snug and it is comfortable. Once it is wrapped all the way around, you want to tuck it into the front or whatever side your faja ends at. In this method, I am applying the faja skin to skin, but as you will see in other methods, you can apply your faja either over your bottoms, over your top, or skin to skin as I do here, and it is hidden away underneath my clothing. The second method of wrapping the faja is going to be from your sacrum. Once again, we want to locate our belly button and our hips just for reference of where on our body we're going to wrap the faja. We want to locate our sacrum on our lower back and place the middle of the faja in this location. Bring their two sides to the front, tighten and continue to wrap around until your faja ends and tuck those tassels in underneath your faja and you are done. For the last method with our big faja, we are going to begin tying our faja in the front. So we're gonna wrap from the front, once again locating our belly button. Right underneath our belly button is our uterus, which is the area that we want to protect when we wear our faja. We also want to encompass our hips. So once again, you're going to wrap your faja around. Make sure your faja is snug as you continue to wrap around and tuck in once your faja ends. And lastly, when we are using our small faja, we are going to wrap it around our body from our sacrum. So we're going to place around our sacrum area first, locating our belly button, making sure we are underneath our belly button. And this faja has long strings that we can wrap around and tie off normally. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope this video was helpful. Please be sure to like, share, and comment.